general characteristics dogs come in a wide range of shapes and sizes. It is difficult to imagine that a large Great Dane and a tiny Poodle are of the same species, but they are genetically identical with the same anatomic features. All dogs have 78 chromosomes, or 39 pairs of chromosomes, humans have 23 pairs, and one member of each pair comes from each parent. The normal temperature, rectal, of an adult dog is 100 to 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Dogs have two sets of teeth. 28 deciduous teeth erupt by 6 to 8 weeks of age, and by the time puppies are 6 to 7 months old these deciduous teeth are all replaced by 42 adult teeth. The permanent teeth include incisors, which are used to nip and bite, canines, which tear and shred flesh, and premolars and molars, which shear and crush. In short, a dog's teeth serve as weapons and as tools for cutting or tearing food. The canines are the upper and lower fangs for which the dog family was named. As in most carnivores, the teeth are high-crowned and pointed. Unlike the broad, grinding teeth of many herbivorous animals, the teething process can be difficult for puppies. Their gums hurt and become swollen, they may lose their appetites, and they may have mild intermittent diarrhea. Dogs rarely chew their food. Once the food is taken into the mouth, it is gulped or swallowed and passed through the esophagus into the stomach, where digestive enzymes begin to break it down. Most of the digestion and absorption of food takes place in the small intestines with the aid of the pancreas and the liver. The pancreas secretes enzymes needed for regulating the digestive process. As in humans, the pancreas produces insulin and glucagon, both of which are necessary for the regulation of glucose. The liver is the largest internal organ in the body. It is six lobes, whereas the human liver has only two. The liver is responsible for many essential life-preserving functions. It helps digestion by producing bile, which aids in the absorption of fat. The liver also metabolizes protein and carbohydrates, and it excretes toxins from the bloodstream. In addition, it manufactures major blood clotting agents. Because the liver performs all these vital functions, liver disease can be a major problem in dogs. The skeletal frame of the dog consists of 319 bones. If a dog's tail is docked or absent at birth, there obviously are fewer bones in the skeleton. The muscles and tendons of a dog are similar to those of a human, however, a dog's upper body muscles bear half the weight of the entire body and are better developed than a human's. The weight distribution between the front and the rear of the dog are relatively equal. Dogs are running animals, with the exception of those bred specifically for different purposes. For instance, the bulldog, with its large head and short, bowed legs, cannot be called a creature born to chase game. Most dogs, however, are well equipped to run or lope over long distances, provided that they are physically conditioned for such activities. The construction of the shoulder and pelvic bones and the way they articulate with the leg bones and the spine allow most breeds to trot, run, or gallop with ease. Certain breeds have distinct gaits that have been genetically selected by humans. The German Shepherd dog is known for its flying trot. The extreme extension of the front and rear legs causes the dog to appear as if it were soaring, although one foot always remains on the ground. Another unique gait is that of the Greyhound. This dog was bred for great bursts of speed, and its most comfortable gait is the gallop. The spine is unusually flexible, allowing the dog to contract and extend its forelegs in unison, whereby all four feet are off the ground at the same time. Other breeds also have unique features. The Afghan hound was bred to chase game over long distances in rocky terrain. Its structure permits great flexibility through the hip joints and lower back enabling the dog to turn quickly in a small area. The Dachshund, by contrast, is long and low with short legs. This dog was bred to hunt badgers underground, and its shape allows it to enter subterranean tunnels in search of its prey. Although most breeds no longer follow the pursuits for which they were originally bred, their instincts remain strong, and their structure still allows them to perform 